Hey guys, I'm just Josh and welcome back. Episode 32 of the Binding of Isaac Repentance. Um, look, I'm just gonna go ahead and get into, you know, the challenge we're doing. It's the delete this challenge, aka the team melt challenge, aka there is no name, blah, blah, blah. AKA Isaac got thrown into a blender. Mm. I like this item quite a bit. At sign, dude, follow me on Twitter. Okay, so if this just turns everything into eyeballs, we win the game. It does not. <laughs> It's, it seems to turn some things into eyeballs and others into absolutely nothing. Um, if you didn't watch the last episode, I highly recommend you go check it out. Is it slow? I don't really know. Uh, if you didn't watch the last episode, I would go peep it if I were you. It's, uh, it's maybe... Okay, the episode itself is not necessarily the funniest piece of content I've ever produced. Uh, but the ending in particular is most certainly... One of- I was supposed to not shoot this guy, it's my bad, I'll for, I forget every time. Uh, the ending of it was one of the funniest things that, that certainly ever happened to me in my Isaac career, and that's like a thousand epies of Isaac episodes. Well, not just episodes, but of, pl of playtime. Uh, if you're curious, we were doing this challenge, so obviously we're picking up items and we don't know what they do because they're all mishmashed up. And, uh, at one point I picked up an item that had the effect of the Sword of Damocles. Or I believe in this, it's just called Damocles. Um, which, if you don't know what that item does, and I actually didn't quite understand what it did, uh, and I looked it up after, which only made the story even funnier. So, once you pick up Damocles, a, a giant sword spawns above your character's head, N. A giant sword spawns above your character's head. Dude, sometimes it turns things... Sometimes it'd be turning. I think it works on all enemies, but not bosses. Okay, that's five cents, dude. We gotta try to get five cents. If this truly, if I just press spacebar, mmm, D. Why am I so little? Mmm, D. If this truly just turns all enemy, I'm forever small. If this, if literally, if I can just press spacebar and turn every enemy in the game. And I think that I can. If I can just turn every enemy into the game into... Dead? Uh, I think we just win, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I think we just win, which is amazing. Sword of Damocles, you pick it up, a sword gets dropped over Isaac's head. Uh, and if you take damage... So what I originally thought was that any time you take damage... Uh, the sword has a chance to fall, killing Isaac instantly. Eden's blessing, choking, as Eden's blessing, as choking, is what that said. Um, that's not entirely accurate. It's close, but it's not accurate. The sword doesn't have a chance of falling every time you get hit. The way it works instead is, as soon as you get hit, the sword is on a timer. Well, not necessarily even a timer. But the sword can begin, it has the chance to fall. And the way that it falls is every four frames, so f essentially 15 times a second. No! I just lost my win. I just lost my free win. I just lost my free win. Uh, this is up. What is, this goes up. Um. I don't know what that means. But I also don't know what to do here. I mean, I'm going to try all these items. Ind Chang. Five bombs. Is this just infinite items? Is this is this just infinite items? Look, I, I don't know what I've stumbled into here. <laughs> I, I don't know what I've stumbled into here. But I think I'm just gonna keep picking up items. <laughs> I think I'm. I think I, I. Think I'm just gonna keep picking up items here because the game has seemingly provided me with infinite items. So like, I'm just gonna continue picking them up. That's just the way for you. Can't trick me. Um, I have no idea what's happening, but I love it. 
So the way the Sword of Damocles actually works is as soon as you get hit every four frames, so 15 times a second, the sword has a 1 in 10,000 chance. Uh, that's a fat bird. The sword has a 1... I mean, this run's getting pretty sick. The sword has a 1 in 10,000 chance of falling and killing you instantly. So essentially, you never know when you're going to die over the course of the entire run, is, is kind of how it works. For us, it just so happened to wait until the very last second. I don't know if you're noticing the sheer amount of familiars I've got right now. For us, it just so happened to wait until the very last possible moment, aka a second. No, my items! Okay, look, we couldn't steal infinite items forever. We may have actually taken too many items. It's possible there is such a thing as too much of a good thing. We may just die now. Let's go up. I don't know what going up in entails. Apparently going up is going down. Anyway, we killed Blue Baby. The trophy appeared. And the Sword of Damocles, 1 in 10,000 chance, dropped at that precise moment. Um... Okay. Interesting. Uh, at, okay, so like... Yeah, okay, so I messed up. As it turns out, at least it seems... Yeah, okay. So, why can't I move? Okay. Okay, so as it... <laughs> this one's probably a loss. So as it turns out in this game, uh, pressing the... Sp uh, sorry, getting infinite items, a la, like, restock... I don't, I'm just getting spacebar items every two seconds. As it turns out in this game, getting a new item every 0.2 seconds, uh, getting infinite items, doesn't actually seem to be very good. I'm just like taking a lot of damage infinitely for some reason. Doesn't actually seem like it's very good. L all baby. L all baby. I'm just like taking damage and getting hurt repeatedly. Um, in this case, infinite items has broken. I have like, I think I have like cursed eye where like every time I'm taking damage, I'm teleporting, but I'm also just randomly taking damage sometimes. Um, so I think we'll probably just die. Yeah, I think we'll probably just die, unfortunately. Uh, that's okay. We'll try again. I really should not have dropped my magical spacebar item that just killed every enemy. The, I don't know why that guy sometimes spawns. Still, still trying to parse that one out. Don't, don't quite have an answer for you as far as to, to why that guy spawns every now and again, but not a fan of it. I like the... Uh, I'm gonna die. I don't want to be alive. I don't want to... Okay, so just go ahead and end it. Just go ahead and end it. We're gonna we're gonna give this one another attempt because uh, well that that one was unbelievably scuffed. <laughs> it's, it's a shame. I actually do think uh, it's good to know. Like I will I will store this information away for later. But um, yeah, infinite items in this game not really what you're looking for. In fact, I think that increases the chances of breaking the game beyond all recognition. Uh, which is what we did there. Unfortunately, there's too many potential negative synergies of like, oh, you just uh, get infinitely wombo comboed. Rock bottle. Rock bottle, unfortunately, looked like mini mush, but it's actually the whiz. AKA, it's actually horrible. Um, this is another scuffed run. Yeah, I wish. I actually don't want mysterious chocolate. I actually wish that we had just kept. Um, our spacebar item from last time. So like, uh, here's, if we're gonna end up beating this one, and again, I think, I'll repeat myself, I'm a broken record. I'll say it a billion times. I think it's just gonna come down to getting like a, a crazy good run. For example, the last run, or two runs ago, except with no Sword of Damocles, uh, that run was super winnable. I think we like gained a spirit heart every time we got hit, AKA I'm unkillable. Um, 
Um, excuse me, I just pooped a random red poop. Or maybe he did? Yeah, I'm thinking he did. Just in a weird spot that I was not expecting. He got, so, he got some range on that poop, that's okay. Um, look, this is pretty bad for us. I, I'm not a fan of the Wiz. We'll overcome, though. Um, okay, maybe we won't overcome, because I'm, I'm taking a lot of damage against this guy. If we wanted to actually, like, if we end up on, like, episode 5 of this challenge, and we just want to get it done, some theory crafting, some lessons that we've learned from, from times in the past, one thing I would say for sure that could be considered a good lesson is, if you find a spacebar item, like the one we had last time, that essentially just wins you the run, rations. Okay? If you have a spacebar item that you press spacebar and it kills every single enemy in the room, just not bosses, aka you probably just win the entire run, you just don't pick up any other spacebar items because you have no idea... Well, you can pick them up because you don't know what's a spacebar item and what's not, but you don't use them because you may accidentally get teleported away and lose your one run. I'll tell you what. You know what item freaking pops up all the time in this challenge is the eraser. Like 90% of the, the time, an item's effect is just, it's the ra it's the eraser. <laughs> Unfortunately, it seems to mostly be like, when you clear a room, you get the eraser. Which is a shame because that's like the, the eraser is essentially worthless from that point forward. Because the, the eraser works like a chaos card, I'm pretty sure. So it's like, it's cool that you gave me an eraser, but there's no enemies left to kill because I've, I've cleared the room. Get turned into a key nerd. Ever since I learned you could use the ace of whatever cards to clear a room instantly and turn them... Like, this would have been a great room. We could have just gotten 55 keys. Uh, but I messed it up. The The floor here is much too dark. I cannot see the spiders. Um, those cards value went up about 8,000 times for me. Before I was like, yeah, you know, yeah, you can turn it into some consumables. That's okay. Uh, no, I thought it was just like a D20 effect. No, the fact that you can turn enemies into those consumables actually sick it's like a death card but with a purpose it's amazing hello i see you buddy i see you buddy i see you buddy this is gonna be our item room let's hope for something good this run kind of boring so far it's like our second key based item so far e flame burning i got an hp upgrade from it pretty much absolutely nothing that's okay i like i don't mind getting some nice calm items We've had some wild and wacky items over the <laughs> over the course of our last couple of runs. If the if the game just wants to provide me with some very normal This feels like it's gonna be second secret room. Okay, I might have misplaced the bomb, that's okay. If the game just wants to provide me with some very normal nothing too crazy uh type of items. Like, I'll just take some straight damage upgrades. It doesn't have to, like, always spawn a giant leech underneath me for it to be considered a cool item. Like, if you just wanted to provide me with, like, plus three damage, like, that's a that's a cool item in my book. Thank you for the spirit heart. We probably don't really want to, to do any deals with the devil, but it's nice to have the option. It is nice to have the option. We do, the Wiz gives us spectral tears, so, like... I guess if I can say anything good about the Wiz, and I and I can't really. <laughs> but if you force my hand, gun to my head, and said, say something for a dollar, name something nice about the Wiz. If I had to do it, like you were going to give me a dollar, very exciting circumstances for me. It's nice that we get the Spectral Tears. Everything else kind of lame -o. Okay, we've picked up the worst search engine. Let's go in here. Sure, I'll go for it. AB infested black hole moth. Okay. And also, I can't eat that. That one's like unpronounceable. And don't forget Bing. Bing made a baby. Okay. So Bing seems pretty bad. Oh, but Bing gave me dark bum. Mm, we'll just stick with this one. <laughs> we'll just stick with E flame burning. I don't know what's happening right now, by the way. I'm going to crack into this. Mountain Dew Major Melon, which I got just to try because I love all things watermelon flavored. Maybe it's because it's the zero sugar variation, but I don't think it's very good, unfortunately. Reroll the whole run? Why, well, yes. Yes, I will. Um, that appeared to not work. 
I mean, I guess it makes sense that it wouldn't work, considering... I don't know why it makes sense that it wouldn't work, but in my brain it makes sense that it wouldn't work, because all the items aren't really items. Um, but that's okay. Oh, dude, that looks like a medical condition. Kedlim Espilio. Kedlim Espilio gave me shielded tears, sure. I'll stick with Kedlim Shieldo for the time being. I also got an HP upgrade. Um, look, I don't think you need me to tell you this run is also probably not long for this world. Because we have uh, the Wiz. And also, I can't seem to kill anything. Hello? Okay, I was going to say, did this... Uh, did I accidentally pick up an item that causes me to do zero damage? Because it certainly do be feeling like it. Oh my goodness, this is still going, huh? For a dollar, end this run. For a dollar, end this run. Please end it. Okay. We're going to survive. Don't worry. No, no, no. Or maybe we should just die and get another one going because this one... This one doesn't really seem to be singing to me at this point. Me, 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 me. This one's not really singing to me. I'd prefer if it did a little bit of singing. All right. They, they gave me a heart. They've kept me alive. I'll keep it going as long as the run decides to keep it going. Juicy sack. That's just an item. Uh, that's just a chaos card every one charge? Um, excuse me? Okay, poops explode. Good to know. Good to know. For a dollar, name explosion. Okay, poops explode. I'm also very close to death. Very close to death. Okay, I do be farting. Um, gonna have to visit the shop and hope it's not greed. We are alive. <laughs> I'll grab the spirit art as well. I'll tell you what. Having a one room charge chaos card actually seems kind of good. Having a one room charge chaos card that instantly kills everything in the room seems kind of good. This is one of those situations. Oh my goodness. Have we done it? Have we done it? So as long as we hit one shot per room, we win. Oh my goodness. I think we've done it. Okay. So. Still gotta be careful. We don't know if this works on bosses. Let's find out. It doesn't! <laughs> okay, uh, that's fine. Don't know how I didn't take damage there. It does not work on bosses. That's good information to have. Oh my goodness, the whiz, dude. The whiz is so bad. For a dollar, get rid of the whiz, please. <laughs> Please free me from the whiz. Okay, 9% chance of a deal with the devil. Okay, so it doesn't work on bosses, but it does work on smaller enemies in the game. This still seems like a run you gotta stick with. This still seems like a run you have to stick with. Thank you for the spirit heart. Thank you for little chubby. Don't really know what the flying bones are. We'll stick with, we'll go to the next one. So it, this isn't quite as good as pressing the space bar and turning every enemy into eyeballs. Uh, oh, it only erases enemies of the same variety. Is that what the eraser always does? Am I, am I a big dumb dummy? Is that always what the eraser does? That might always be what the eraser does. Anyways, still like most rooms tend to have similar enemies. So it probably is still amazing. It strikes me as potentially still amazing. So I'm still very happy with the situation. Other than the whiz, and also other than the fact that I just accidentally uh, launched that, did not want to do that. Would have preferred to have it for this room in particular. Would have much preferred to have it for this room in particular, but that's okay, we'll get through it. We'll get through it. 
This room doesn't, I mean, this, uh, this run, I should say, doesn't seem horrible. It's like, uh... It doesn't have any, like, potentially run sabotaging items to this point. Which is good news for me. There, there's nothing to this point that I, I instantly am like, oh, that's definitely gonna cause us to lose. Except the fact that I keep accidentally launching my eraser. The eraser is a lot of help when we first enter a room. So just shooting it and losing it is a pretty bad idea. Um, okay, so I don't know what hurt me there, but something just randomly hurt me. So we may actually have something in our mix. In our midst, if you will. We may actually have some item that's pretty bad. So, so Stop launching the eraser. Sometimes it's hard to tell. Um, sometimes it's hard to tell if you've got that mysterious item. Because you don't really know what any particular item does. Until something bad happens. Uh, what? Can't, I can't walk over there. Okay, interesting. Look, I don't really... Uh, okay. Okay, uh, so I've got, like, the worst version of Curse of the Tower. That's pretty cool. Uh, not only when I get hit do I spawn troll bombs, but they're the troll bombs that chase. That's pretty bad. I, I would describe that as a pretty bad setup. Where am I? I'm very lost. Oh, I don't have my... It's my own fault. That is my own fault. I thought that I had my eraser ready. Narrator. He did not have his eraser ready. What a shot. Holy cow. Okay, we're probably going to die. And I'm here to tell you that that's okay. Sometimes you just got to accept that you're probably going to die. Continue getting smaller. Maybe get a tears up. A range up is sick. A tears down. Okay. Someone out there is laughing right now. That's fine. That's fine. Let's do our boss fight. Let's do our boss fight. I really wish that worked like a chaos card. If that worked like a chaos card, I'd feel a lot better about our overall chances of success as it stands now. As it stands now, not too excited. As it stands now, not too excited about our overall chances of success, but we are alive and we did get a deal with the devil. Do we want the deal with the devil? Probably not, but CC the F? <laughs> Could you please go ahead and CC the F? Grab that. Nails, stick it. I was hoping that would just be infinite stat-ups. It doesn't appear that it's infinite stat-ups. It is at least a stat-up, though. It gave us an HP upgrade as well. Two HP upgrades? Take this. Um, yeah, I think you have to. Okay, you have to. I don't know if this is gonna be a permanent upgrade just from holding it or, or what, but having the electric tears is at least some sort of damage. Uh, we, we need something right now because we are still rocking base tears, base damage. So just about anything at this point that's going to help us in our endeavors, I'm down for. Go ahead and... I'm so small, I can't even lodge myself down in the corner. Okay, go ahead and do this. I am going to keep switching between this glass of watermelon flavored drink and this can of watermelon flavored drink. Because I cannot have enough. Both well, pretty darn good. I was talking some smack about the watermelon uh, Mountain Dew earlier, but I actually think it's pretty good. I also got some Thai food flowing through my veins. Uh, I don't know if I mentioned this yet. Yeah, we'll take it. Zai tears, baby. Yeah. Seems seems rather bad. Seem, seems pretty bad. And I also can't help but notice... Uh, cannot help but notice, but I lost my electric tears? Is that... Uh, is that a permanent thing, or uh, are you just testing me? I still seem to have my- oh, my eraser is only at the end of a room, though. My eraser is only at the end of a room. Oh, don't shoot that, because every time the eraser thing happens- Oh, just random feet, by the way. Like, I'm on the Twitter homepage. Uh, just random feet. That seems pretty bad. Yeah, I think this run's probably doomed, just to- if you're wondering. 
It's it's just downright horrible. We actually have no positives anymore. Yeah, there's actually just zero positives to this run. I have base damage, base tears. I have the whiz. I've got a little chubby. Little chubby's really exciting. Uh, every time I take damage, giant troll bombs that chase me spawn, and also a foot comes down from the sky and stomps on me as well. So it seems like it's probably over. Unless we get a magical item. Okay. Uh, also, I keep accidentally throwing an eraser. I keep accidentally throwing an eraser that is ruining the charge on my spacebar item. Please help. For a dollar, please help. Just go ahead and... Okay, so I'm dead. Yeah, pretty pretty deserved. Pretty pretty deserved to be honest. I'll hit you with one more. We'll we'll try one more. I'm gonna hold R till we get an item room. I'll take a curse room. Yeah, sure. That looks like a good item. I'll give you one more. Hopefully it pops off sooner rather than later. Note. Could be good. <laughs> if it's if it's literally just uh the shovel. At the very least, it should make the run very quick, you know? K your enemies? That's the goal, man. At the end of the day, that's how you win these challenges. I I, I highly plan on Kang my enemies. Let's see what we can do here. Okay, nothing going on in there. Could use some music. It's feeling a little ominous at this point in time. Although I will say... Oh, I actually wasn't at base tiers on the last run, but... With this occasional Monstro's Lung shot... Toxic Blast plus five bow. Was that an HP downgrade? You gotta be kidding me, it's the Wiz again? Why is it the Wiz again? <laughs> Who programmed this? It's all the Wiz and the Eraser. It's like, uh, it's like the freaking astronaut meme where the, the guy's up in space and he's looking down at the earth and he goes, it's all the Eraser and the Wiz. Always has been. That's what this challenge is turning in. There's other items in the game, my dude. Give me some other potential items, please. If we take damage here, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna jump down. <laughs> See you later, dude. Alright, this one may be over sooner than it started. Or I should say as quickly as it started. This one may be over. Um, I can't see anything that's happening on my screen. But I know that I'm one hit away from death. Be very cautious. Uh, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and want that. We're gonna go ahead and grab that. Preserve our deal with the devil chance. Not that I really can do anything with it anyway. I got no bombs. Sure, I'll take that. And. Can't help but notice. Um, what? Um, what? It's hurting me! <sighs> Um, okay, just some bombs. No problem. Just just trying to parse out what's happening here. They shoot! Okay. Am I gonna die if I hold this? Oh, I'm one hit away from death again. Okay, that's fun. Uh, let's go... So I can't hold down my charge shoot button because I'm spawning these little gremlins. Okay, so every time I pick up a consumable, everything in the room turns into Bob's curse bombs. That's, uh, interesting. <laughs> I mean, we're very powerful. Oh, stop holding! Every time I hold, I'm spawning these little demons. Every time I hold down the fire button... Yeah, so we got to fire in short little bursts. Because um, if I hold the fire button for too long... No! My friend. Some of my HP is converted into these little demon creatures. Which they're like... They're not demon creatures. Help. Because I'll be honest, they're like really helping me. They're like really helping me kill rooms. That was a bad placement. <laughs> That was a pretty stupid placement. Um, they're like helping me kill stuff, so I can't be upset. 
But they do be sucking away my HP. Now, if we have a chance to charge up our HP, we should do this. Slurp. Slurp. Grab that. Ah, yes, my items also count as that, so that's good to know. Okay, well, take that. D to go deeper. Not again. <laughs> Not again! <laughs> D to go deeper, by the way? Uh, I... So my run reset because I have no items, but we're back in this room where I get infinite items, so that hurt. Yeah, we'll just we'll, we'll just keep picking up stuff. I know this essentially broke the run last time. Uh, I've turned into Okay. Um I turned into the Forgotten for a second there. I'm still the Forgotten. I have horrible monstros, whatever. Yeah, I'm just going to pick up infinite items, I think. I think... No! I'm actually not going to pick up infinite items. You could pick up infinite items if you just don't press the space bar. All right. Um, 0.62 tiers. Uh, <laughs> seems pretty bad. Uh... If you want my honest to goodness opinion, 0. 0.62 tiers seems pretty bad, but I'm analyzing for a bright spot. Um, sometimes when we shoot stuff, they fart. P up, plus you feel. <laughs> I wish, brother. Um, sometimes when we shoot stuff, they fart. That's a nice benefit, so like enemies that are kind of grouped together. I got a damage upgrade in that room somehow. Maybe we've got like a lusty blood situation hiding in the... I think we got like a lusty blood hiding in the, the background here a little bit. Now what happens if I do this? Okay, that turns all pedestals into bombs. So don't do that when there's an item in the room. Because that's a pretty bad time. You end up rather sad. Yes, hello. Yes, hello. This, 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 the thing about this boss is that I'm just having a little bit of trouble because of my 0.62 tiers. You got me? You did, in fact, get me there? Every time I get hurt, I spawn an enemy. That's pretty bad for business because that just further increases the chances that I take damage. Okay, we got to deal with the devil and I do got some HP to spend. Uh, Lup extra life? I think I will take whatever they got. Why does it cost money? I farted and I have a key. My key! Uh, I don't have the money to take that. I don't know why the deal with the devil costs money. I'm gonna continue down to the next floor. Um, yeah, this run stinks. <laughs> it's <laughs> It stinks something fierce right now. But maybe not forever? Fingies cross, maybe not forever? I like that we got Lusty Blood. If we could get something that also increased my tears, we'd be in a lot better spot. Monstro's Lung and a... Wait, but my damage didn't go up in that room. So do I actually... Do I actually have Lusty Blood? I don't know, but I do have Woolajar Bob. Would not deny that I've got Woolajar Bob. Oh, give me that. That's not even words, dude. There's no words on it. That's the cutest little baby plum I've ever seen in my life. And I think I also, for a second there, had, um... For, like, a brief moment in time, I also had the boomerang. Which is, like, not great, but it's not the worst thing either. Dude, this challenge is... I also spawn a punching bag when I pick up consumables. Okay. This is one of the wildest, uh, I was gonna even just say challenges, but just like life experiences of all time. It's like if aliens were in charge of creating a video game, that's essentially what we're left with here. Dude, I am pretty strong. Minus the 0.62 tiers, we do be pretty strong.
so I'll give credit where credit is due. I'm very happy with the amount of damage we're putting out. Tears are just a little low. Give me- I have gold head, I think, because I got a 100% chance with a deal with the devil? Unique controlled, by the way. Didn't increase my tears. I'm gonna take it all forever and always. Temporary damage up and also wavy cat percent. That is a new Super Mario Odyssey speed run if you were curious. Uh, sure, let's continue. Look, I don't really know what's happening. I'm just gonna keep clicking buttons and advancing until we win and or die. My run still seems exactly the same. I'm still seeing 0.62% tears. I'm gonna pray this is the right way, and guess what? I'm not doing this room. Seeming like it could be the right way. So, every time I take damage, I can't help but notice that everything in the room just dies. That seems rather sick. Now, my spacebar item doesn't really do anything. <laughs> That's an issue that I'd like to solve. Uh, namely, by getting a new spacebar item. Because this one doesn't... Yeah, it doesn't seem to do anything. Uh, I can't help but notice everything in the room didn't die that time. Which is a little upsetting. Uh, yeah, my spacebar item... Uh, Kind of stinky. Doesn't really appear to be doing anything at this place in time. I am getting some red fires around me now, and I don't know what's causing that either. But we have a good chance of another deal with the devil here. Yeah, the space bar item just doesn't do anything, unfortunately. It's okay. Can I use these red fires? Oh, every time I take damage, I get another red fire. So it's like a Bethany situation. The fires are like a Bethany situation. That's kind of... That could be good. That could be good. Didn't really mean to spawn that guy. That's my own fault. It's completely my own bad. All right, he is dead. Got uh, WGJ, a.k.a. Those are actually my initials, but swapped around. That's a little scary. Gave me an HP upgrade. And you already know I'm going to buy all this stuff. Ever-ending stores. Thankfully, I still have a 100% chance of a deal with the devil, so I, I didn't lose out on my deal with the devil chance. Look at all the punching bags. The question is, do I really want to spend all my HP on uh, random items? I mean, like, probably shouldn't, but who cares, you know? That's kind of how I feel about it. That's a range up. And that is Etic Tears. Uh, where'd my head go? Dude, that's actually a slight tears up. I'm keeping it. <laughs> it's, the, it's the world's smallest tears up. I'm keeping it. Unfortunately, I got guillotined. Which I would consider to be pretty horrible for us. Oh, the guillotine's pretty bad. Um, sure, the black bean toot on touch. It gave me some spirit hearts, dude. The spirit hearts may actually save this one. We, we do be tooting, and sometimes we're doing, like, a, a black bean, or, sorry, a, uh, a wait what style explosion. That seems pretty good. But I'm still mostly just very confused about what's happening on this run in particular. Okay, now every time I pick up a consumable, we, we get a... Oh, my... You did not need to come back. The Brimstone Bombs is another thing. Eraser, the Wiz, and Brimstone Bombs. I can fly? I can apparently fly now? Those are the three things that, like, appear to just... They, it's almost a guarantee. They're gonna happen on every single one of these runs. Zwa? Zwa? Just a little zwa. My guillotine's gone. Oh, but I also lost my tears. Hmm... Is the guillotine worth the slight tiers and damage upgrade? Oh, that's because guillotine is a tiers upgrade, duh. Um, or at least breaks the tier cap. Um, yeah, I, th I think it's not worth it. So I'm actually gonna stick with what I've got going here. I think this probably gives us a better chance of winning. Oh, you piece. I think this probably gives us a better chance of winning. So it's what I'm going to stick with. Gamble 24, baby. Uh, 
That's um 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 um. I think I've made a big mistake. <laughs> I think I made a big mistake. Uh oh. Okay, so we got to get rid of the space bar item like yesterday. Oh no. What have I done? Fourteen space bar item, please. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That's a long charge, buddy. That's a pretty lengthy charge, my friend. Seems okay, though. Seems okay, though. I'm a little low on HP, I'm uh, noticing. I'm gonna die. I have died. <laughs> okay. Uh, look, we tried. That's the end of uh, this episode. That's enough attempts in one, I think. Um, look. I still think, I know it's a lot of just like, maybe we'll try some variety next time. I do think we're close to getting this challenge. Well, okay, look, I can't actually say that. I think you just you just keep doing this challenge until the, the gods of RNG bless you. And they just, uh, Gesundheit. And I think they just haven't yet, but they will. Uh, and when they do, I hope you'll be there to see it. <gasps> Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, please consider showing some support down below. Liking, commenting, subscribing. I'll help out a tremendous juice. Share with your grandmother as always. But with that... <laughs> Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys next time.